life has never been easy for me. Don't get me wrong, there were always food on my plate and a roof to shelter me from the bad weather, but I isn't easy for me. My ex-girlfriend would always tag me in every post possible, showing how great her life is with her new rich husband, making me miserable. My boss basically abused me, but I couldn't do anything, I needed to eat. And my mother was always angry with me, screaming and asking for her cigarettes. I never had a time to relax with her bossing me around. Everything is so stressful. I was outside, coming back home from a grocery run, basically instant food and mom's cigarettes, when I saw it. The sign above the door screamed rage room and on the windows photos of angry people destroying some fruits and glass panels. Somehow, it called me. Inside, the only thing that was eye-catching was the lady at the counter. Looking at her phone with a depressive face, maybe she needs to relax. Looking to blow off some steam? She said, still looking at her phone. Yes. I paused, thinking about what to say next. How does this work? $100 for one hour. You go inside and break some shit. She finally placed her phone on, fadeable to look at me. I only got 85 on me, can't you get me a discount? I said. Do you smoke? She said, getting up from her chair. No, only my mother. I answered. Give me a pack of cigarettes and I will give you your discount, she said, now in front of me. I was hesitant, but I needed this, and eventually I just gave her the cigarettes. She opened the door and guided me through a quarter until we came to my own rage room for an hour. I entered. She explained the rules, don't break the cameras, be careful with the glass, etc. I grabbed the safety equipment, a hammer and went in. Boy, I needed that. It was also liberating. I felt free, strong, like I could fight a giant. Didn't even see the time pass. There was a loud buzz and the door opened. The girl entered the room to tell me my time was over, but I just needed more. I ignored her and took a watermelon to smash with a hammer. She got closer, insisting that I leave the room. I got ready to smash it and she grabbed my arm, startling me. I turned too fast, hitting her, killing her instantly. That's when I noticed. I was strong. My ex has the same body as this girl, and my mother and boss are too old to fight back. I don't need a stupid rage room to relax. I need to deal with my problems from the core. Knowing what I had to do, I took the hammer and left for 